Hello, thank you so much for joining me again. Today, um, I'm doing a little inspirational video for the YouTube challenge again um, for April. And uh, you may or may not have already seen me do the uh, tag with a belly band uh, to get that uh, part of this challenge knocked out. And I just did a cute little scrappy, scrappy notebook to slide in there. Um, but the other thing that is left is a pocket. So what I'm going to do is incorporate a pocket that I can slide this tag into. And I'm going to use an envelope. I actually was going to look for a junk envelope. I have a stash of junk envelopes somewhere and <laughs> I can't find them. So, um, but I found my stash of this really pretty parchment paper. And I think the coloring looks really good with that. So I'm just going to use that. I'll be a bad girl and not use up my scraps. I'm going to use a nice new envelope. <laughs> um, so first things first, I am going to be putting it. I've, I'm have i starting to compile with all of our um, YouTube challenges. I'm going to make a, uh, a book. Um, so this was March's um, challenges, the pocket and tag and belly band there. And um, I think what I will do is actually get an, a, a new sheet for April. Okay, so this is just coffee stained paper. I'm gonna fold it in half. And that will be the page that I, that I put things on. I'm, I kind of like that dark there. So, um, okay. So what I need to do is, first of all, I'm going to glue, I'm going to glue this flap down. I don't, I don't need it to be flappy right now. Sometimes you need it to be flappy, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you feel like a nut, <laughs> sometimes you don't. But I actually usually feel like a nut. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of a nut, a little bit of a nut goofball. Um, okay, so I I think I'm going to, well, let's see. It doesn't need to be too much taller than my tag. Um, so let me just roughly say, oh, there. Okay. So let me get my little cutter. I'm going to chop that off. And I'm going to save that because why not? That can be a pocket for something else. Yay! Okay. So now what I will do, make sure actually, I think I, yep, put too much glue too far in. I'm going to make sure it doesn't stick. Okay. All right. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to use, make this the front where it's all nice and smooth. It doesn't have the, the flappy there. Um, and what I will do, I think first I will do is my, where'd it go? Ah, uh, yes. Right here in front of me. Um, I'm going to round the corners of the top. I'm going to round that off just a tad. Okay. Now what I want to do, and I need to kind of measure. I want to cut a slit a little bit further down so that I can fold this down. Um, and what I need to do is decide how far down I want it. Um, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna eyeball it. <laughs> you know how I feel about measuring things, right? Uh, and if you don't know yet, I hate measuring. <laughs> I hate math. Math makes my head hurt. Ugh. But sometimes you need it. Okay, so that's about where, and I'm gonna use, use my little, my little scissors here and just cut a slit right to my mark. I'm not sure if you can see it, but you probably are catching my drift, yes? Kind of right on that 
fold there. Okay. All right, I'm gonna fold it down like so. I have glue on my hands. Okay. All right, and I actually did not do a great job of cutting right on the, but I can trim that off. You can fake it. You can fake it till we make it. Okay. Yeah, that's a little, <laughs> that's a little wonky. <laughs> uh, okay, let me see if I can camouflage. Okay, well, if it bothers me too much, I will camouflage it with lace or something. That is the beauty of a paper crafting. You can camouflage your boo-boos, they're really easy. All right, so let me make sure, yeah, okay. All right, so let me, um, you know, first things first, I'm gonna ink the edges. So now I'm going to use the rest of this pretty paper. I used it for the back of my little notepad, um, but I just love this paper. So I will be using a chunk of it to uh, cover this up. And let me just trim off my, my white edges. Okay, now let me measure how much I I want to have a little bit of the edge showing, so I'm just, I'm just going to cut it just slightly smaller. So, <clears throat> let me see. 4, I want to say 4 by 4 by 5 and a quarter should do just fine. Okay, so four wide. By five and a quarter. All right, and then that will go there. Beautiful, beautiful. And let me, while I'm at it, while I'm cutting, I'm just gonna cut everything before I glue it. Um, I would like a little bit back here as well. Um, hmm. Let me see here. Let's see, if I do this, I'm going to do a little bit larger. And then kind of whittle it down on the sides. I, I think that will do well. Uh, Okay, I'm just I'm just being really picky now, but I, I was wanting to get that kind of centered, um, but that works. That works. Okay, so and I don't need that much of it, but let me round. <clears throat> oh, let's see, what did I? Which which rounder did I use? I think the big one. <laughs> I think the big one. Yeah. Okay. So I'm 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 off camera. I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm going to round the corners to match. Yeah. Okay. And I don't need it to go all the way in because no one's going to see that, but I want, I want it to go past a little bit. So I'll, I'll go ahead and cut it to about... 
out here, just in case somebody gets curious and wants to peek inside further. <laughs> There'll be a little bit of prettiness there. So that'll that'll work well. Okay, that that works fine. I like it. Maybe a little bit more. One more egg in here. Okay. And then what I don't know yet is if I want to, I, I feel like I want to do something, I'm either leave that like that or do lace. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll think I'll do the matching lace. Let me see. Do I have enough of that? That is the question. I don't quite have enough of that, do I? I have to make more. I love the rusty lace. Or I could use a different one. It would still be the same. Because different kinds of laces together is pretty too, isn't it? Hmm. Or, or, go back to the cardstock that I used to make the tag. It's a little bit more, it's a little contrasting. It's, it's larger, um, larger flowers. Hmm, let me try that. <clears throat> so I need it to be four by three quarters. All right, I've got all this stuff in the way here. Let me see if I can make this work here. So three quarters, that's going to be eek. That's going to be hard to line up here because <laughs> it doesn't, I can't, there's no uh, little buffer there, not buffer, but a little stopper. But I'm going to go by that line. Okay. And what did I say? Four. <clears throat> Okay, that's all I need. That's all I need for my little cutter. Let me get rid of these scraps here. All right, so um, let me round this corner and this corner. Put that there. Okay, let me see. Let me take a gander here. I could still maybe put that lace there in the middle. Yeah, I think I like that. Let me see how well my tag will actually slide in here. Because this is a nice, it's big enough. There's plenty of room for a little bit of bulk. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, I think that's what I'm going to do. Because I'm really wanting to use up the paper. Not only that it matches and coordinates, but, you know, I want to use it up. I want to be efficient. So, I will ink all my papers and glue them down. So I'm going to uh, glue this a little flap down too. There is no reason for that to be flapping in the wind. And then we'll put our little scrap of lace on. I'm thinking I might want to do a little bit, a little something a little bit more. Maybe, I don't know some of the purple seam binding to match. I think maybe I'll do that. Mm. 
and kind of do that and then put this little flower maybe oh here we go it's kind of making it's making a natural little <laughs> a little uh what do you call that flag <laughs> um let me look for my little flowers here they are okay so maybe a lighter lighter purple so it kind of goes with that different shades of purple always look quite lovely okay i feel like i need something else i feel like i need a little a little bit of green cheesecloth that's what i'm feeling that's what I'm feeling. So let's see how I can incorporate incorporate that. Kind of like this. Ooh, my goodness. Kind of make it like that. Okay. All right, well, let me get this down first. a little pocket which works nicely with the little coordinating tag with the scrappy notebook or notepad and that goes in really nicely perfect and then if I glue it on just gluing this then it's another pocket right there so that's what I'm going to do and I can put like a larger a larger piece of ephemera or a larger um, you know, journaling card or just paper to journal on that would tuck in nicely back here. So that's what we're going to do. Easy breezy. Okay. And we're done. Oop. Squishing out, squishing out. Hang on. Okay. Get that under control. Okay. And the little wonkiness here doesn't bother me anymore. I think there's enough other things to get you, get your eye away from <laughs> the fact that I, I made a boo-boo. There's nothing to see here. Nothing to see here at all. Nothing. Okay. So there you have it. Pocket. Tag belly band which was super easy <laughs> nothing fancy there you can get much more creative but these are just some ideas to get you started um uh, on the april challenge which at this point is almost over but it's not too late to get in okay so i've been using the uh, my lilac uh, french country lilac uh, papers kit and you don't have to use this kit as long as you have purple and you have florals in your um, in your entries, then you are you will be entered in. And be sure to use the hashtag when you post your pictures on social media and especially be sure to email me pictures of your entries so that I will be able to track better and uh, put you in for the drawing and the winner will get 50% off of my shop. Okie dokie. All right. Thanks for joining me. And I hope you definitely join in on the challenge. Okay. See you later. Mm -hmm.